we've seen before and I'm excited to see what these guys have got planned. Now already you're seeing the B side under a lot of pressure. His foot put in a decoy. CNED claiming the space and they've taken it right off the back. Breach stun still locked and ready to be used because B isn't their final destination. They're moving all the way around. A side challenge. Benji Fishy loses his utility alongside his life. And Patatek now is sort of isolated up there on top A. They might be forced into a retake. How are going to manage to do too much here? Paditech left blind already. It's going to be able to hold on to some of the space. That's the main thing here. Just having a little bit of ground so they can fight back in. The rotation's coming through. But the main man I'm looking at, well, is Mr. Farland. If he has anything to do in the late round, Mitch, because they've already lost <laughs> another member. Yeah, they've already thinned out those numbers pretty efficiently. For Team Heretics, away back in is looking unlikely. But well, it's a pistol. You're always going to try it, Mr. Fallen. Oh. Sending out that long play to end the game. The rest of his team just needs to buy time. Hold on, he's been spotted, but that doesn't matter. Clean shot by Mr. Fallen. Cracks taking advantage of the chaos across the map. I don't expect Team Heretics to get a lot done. If they can find a couple of kills, it'd be huge. It's not looking great. It's not, is it? <laughs> As uh, expected, does, though. Does your curse still carry on? Do we, do we carry that on from yeah. last they year? They win a 2v5 it, it, now. I'll, I'll accept it, but okay. they're doing the right thing grouping up, but the first challenge is going to be out of captain. This isn't a guy that's been slapped. Sorry, what I'll was that? I'll just go I'll leave it there. <laughs> I'll leave it. Agents to lock down a site, so to speak. We'll see if they can actually find the value for it already, bypassing utility with the Yoru. But he's, oh. he's isolated. You know, he's kept oh, no. back for a moment. What's happened to Benji? Oh, he's got a little bit lost. It feels sectioned into the back corner of the site. And while that one-man army hasn't managed to get anything done, in fact, they are slowly being wiped out. The lurk of Yedajay as well is going to put another in the dirt. And oh, well, I'm, I'm already starting to get a little bit worried. As said, for a team with little experience, brand new on the block, you want a good start. You don't want to allow Foot to start running away with things. And I don't feel like they've had to do anything too crazy, like some fairly basic executions. I'm also, I, I want to say, I'm excited to see Sinead's Yoru, mainly for reasons of <laughs> has it got better than when it was on the last team? Because obviously, one thing with Yoru, I feel like communication is actually really important. Mm -hmm. Like the timing of everything, we saw him flash teammates quite a lot last yeah. year, but now he's communicating in Turkish again. Yeah, DJ, well, he's going to make it even more costly for them. A chance for Mini Boo to at least get onto the board, maybe hold the Players gun. walking but... through that orb and Sinead. Almost got caught. The flash is good. The damage yeah. is even better. Out of captain's down, and CNET doesn't want anything to do with this. Backing off a little bit, popping the flash to slow them, but they're going to redirect to B. Team Heretics are here ahead of them, though. Mini Boo sure is already there, but here comes Thrash coming close. Destroyed in time. Yedishay can't hold on. Some good kills for Team Heretics. Some signs of life starting to shine through. C didn't work. B didn't work. What's next? Well, one left, isn't there? <laughs> they're on their way to A. And luckily, unlike most maps, they actually have a third option to go for. Boo. Actually has a full belt of utility, but doesn't even need it. That's going to be Mr. Farland falling. And leaving just two players surviving for a chance in this round. They've already committed an ultimate to it, Mitch. So for the Heretic side, this needs to be a win. You know, they could go looking for upgrades. There are rifles sitting around, but it's all about time. They want to get up and in this fight quickly. Cracks. Alongside oh. CNED, looking to hold the line, and CNED's good for the first. Crack stepping in, ult available, but... Thrash available. The defense, though, well, they're not even going to give CNED a chance to do anything. Yeah, he was stuck in this dimension, unfortunately. Unable to shift in time. It's the A site that's under threat. Yeah. It gave the thing of, like, he's looking at you. It's like, he's not. He's dead. He, <laughs> he was looking at you. Not anymore. Well, the ult's going to be saved. Picked back up to use again. At least cleared out like a recon drone that you get a second shot at. Stun is good. That slowed them down. Benji Fishy, though, still steaming ahead. Taking the corner. Mini Boo and Boo combined. They've given their team a real chance with just Mr. Fall and a one versus five. Excellent job when defending a site. Lockdown thrown in. Not necessarily committed yet. They're waiting for someone to move off. I think Mini Boo's expecting someone to get there. Luckily, he's a speedster, but oh, oh, um, not quite quick enough. It doesn't matter. They will be waiting it out anyway as the full team look to come in for the retake. Ultimates available, at least in the form of overdrive for Mini Boot. Maybe he can try and take some space back in, but so far, Foot in these afterplants have been flawless. 
they have been very hard to deal with. Uh, albeit this side perhaps gives some angles they can isolate duels on. A little bit more difficult now with the Cosmic Divide. They've got to go in blind. It has allowed them to sneak around the, the corner oh, a little know. bit, but Crax has that angle locked. Even pops a molly on it. Now the flash will go through in just a moment. There it is. Blinding up some players, giving them a chance on the side of foot as they wrap around the back, give up a little bit more control in favor of taking fights together. And those fights, well, they're not going excellently. Crax and Cena, though, quickly recover, leaving it onto Patatech, having to defuse underneath both players. No utility to deny. Players close to the status as the players on the other side. Again, though, this is the exact start I was looking for from Heretics. Get that early aggression. Deny Mr. Fallen as well. That is the smokes on the other side gone. Of course, we know that for Heretics, they've got that double controller, but it isn't the same at the moment for first. So now is whether or not they're going to be able to pivot. And boo, this is a nasty surprise. Oh! Maybe not. <laughs> Shoulder peak actually saved Yedijay's life, even allowed him to deal more damage than received. Some success. Heretics get that early aggression. Deny Mr. Fallen as well. That is the smokes on the other side gone. Of course, we know that for Heretics, they've got that double controller, but it isn't the same at the moment for foot. So now is whether or not they're going to be able to pivot. And boo, this is a nasty surprise. Further. Yeah, I'm also worried just how low some of the players are. Boo, 2 HP. Benji on 17. Like, anything could take them out. Even the extra clipping you now take from the Molotov flash through and they've taken an awful lot of space like look all the way back on the a site you've still got out of captain you've, you've got to push through the ceiling as well like at the moment heretics on this retake are playing with no ground but they are stacking up together a real good chance for trades and in fact mini boo's gonna win his second duel already this is where they stand the best chance up against the squad like foot if they can just use all their guns at once trade off each other and have a few missed shot cracks not able to hit it to start it off this is getting a little worrying as heretic steam oh, using it once last season where it's just like you just throw it straight up in the air hope that it gives you a little bit of extra information for now though once again this beat site ensues but in straight through the smoke has managed to pop two heads of the foot side this b site has been the least successful of the ones they've gone for so far and in fact if they even attempt to double back they've got two players to deal with yeah, and one a little closer than they'll be expecting. Mini Boo has one hell of a left. spot here. The flash comes out, oh, reveals no. him, and he's blind and taken down. Still got one for his trouble. Despite being blinded up, Boo's even got a flash of his own. And with the paranoia... 40 seconds left. It looks like Foot are finally going to make their move. The flash was in. cnet has got the space. The challenge, though, tough when he's rocking that pistol. Snake bite will buy them some time. 30 seconds 30 on the seconds clock. Left. The numbers advantage certainly paying off with the plant even coming through. This could get a little bit scary uh -oh. if they keep losing players on the side of Heretics. Down to three already. A three versus four. And there's utility in play. Foot have got a rolling thunder alongside Thrash. They could keep them way back on this. And that's exactly what they're going to do. Buying so much time. A paranoia comes in. It does next to nothing. And Rians. Well, he almost got caught by the decoy. Instead, he grabs a kill for free. Nice one onto Cracks, but he what? doesn't last too much longer with another kill from the Stinger <laughs> of Ada Captain. All three kills have been his four. In fact, a chance to take all five. He's swaying. He does it. Guys, Rico. Let's just see what we can do. Maybe we get a plant. Maybe we do a little bit of damage. It's working better than most people's rifles. And okay, cool. There was a few good flashes in there that maybe yeah, helped him. He's maybe been struggling a little bit. Okay, flash broken. A return flash from Foot's Breach as well. Tries to keep Heretics back. But look, it's just so difficult to try to wrestle the control out of their arms. Uh -oh. CNET, what are you doing? There goes the stun. He's out. No. The shorty and that. CNET, it's disgusting. No. Absolute filth. And now an isolated boo. He's standing alone, taking head after head. So much damage done, but come on. How many more shots can this man hit? He's stuck in a corner. Oh! Ultimate's in play for the rest of the squad. That Viper's pick going up could seal the fate of the side of foot. All they need to do is deny that sight control, but with CNET around, that's so difficult to do. Nice kill. Yeah, good start. A chance to take this half in the direction we expected it. Panitech. Ah, it's a gamble and a half. Spamming through a Viper's pit with a Vandal. You basically just gave them all the information they could ever need to find you. And well, now it is just man going down and down and down. Cracks with another leaving. Just mini boo. 17 HP and a 1v5, do you believe? Rebel Clutch, maybe? Uh, yeah, it would be impressive. <laughs> it might be the play of the year before he even gets yeah, started. Yeah, first game. But, we might uh, as well throw it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> But no, for the side of Heretics, I, I'm not many people at high expectations. There we go. And now, the pistol round oh starts dear. out with confidence <laughs> from the side of foot. They are looking to put them... You can see the stack up on one side. Yedege, the prodigy, the young Turkish player left on this side of the map. But ultimately, 
Just gonna have to give it up. And you've got a man advantage. You don't really need to take the risk. Yeah. Cracks, Yedege, out of captain, everybody grouping up. Sinan's just made it to the rest of the squad. Everybody is coming from the spawn side. Bar one, Mr. Fallen, a little bit late to it, but he's regrouped as well. Lots of pistols and the numbers advantage, but will it be enough with time ticking away? Foot need to pick up the pace. That stun's not quite gonna catch Mini Boo, so he's still good for this fight. No flash from out of captain. He's taken out immediately, but a quick flurry of frags gives Foot the upper hand by quite. Again, it's the same as last time. If they can get any kills, do any real damage here, that's great. A plant would be nice, but ultimately we don't expect much. No, Yedige might have a challenge here. If he decides to back off, they can play the retake. If he goes okay. down, though, now they start to get a little bit worried. Isolated duels. And that's what I was worried about. I wanted to see Yedige play uh, for the late round, but I understand why he stays. You're only up against pistols. This time, though, Mini Boo gets the better of him. The numbers advantage now staggeringly in favor of Team Heretics. And if your foot, Does he, you have to you have to rely have on a, a big individual play. If he throws yes. a mosh in this corner, are they just all gonna run out at once? Like they're all stuck in the back, and the flash has caught everybody. A little bit of counter utility, even still, that advantage sits. The manpower is there now. The mosh is gonna go into that corner, and they, they can't even push out. They can't go anywhere. So he's just gonna stick to the fuse. They're all coming, running back. The spam, however, has found that diffuser is left all on. And then booze your best fire. I really, like, I've, I've been a fan of Boo for a long time, running back to 2020, I think, and I, you know, seeing him back... So did you I, like I, him before I, he was cool, consistent. is what you're saying? No, he was cool back then, Tom. I wouldn't take that <laughs> away from him. But I liked him when he was cool back in the day. <laughs> okay. But I'm really glad to see him find that success, maybe find that mentor kind of role on, on this I've team. Seen I think it's always been a little quieter. I've seen it's used his ult in this round. He has. Quite interesting. He's committed. He's actually he's managed to get another kill. Panatech is having a bit of a nightmare, I'll be honest. Only a couple of kills on the board, but the rest yes, of the team yeah. doing work. We're not about to see back to back, are we? A 2v2 scenario. Time standing. really is ticking, though. Cracks would have to do something hey, utterly ludicrous. He has managed to find himself a rifle and can at a minimum oh, back an early TP hunting for information in the Edige. He's under pressure here. Doesn't have a whole lot of support. There is a couple of utility players nearby, but he has decided, and rightfully so, I'm going to back off this one. Spike planted. Oh, Rianz really had to back off. He's down to half, but he's got his ultimate to work with. Thrash to thrash him up. And he's from outside. See, I mean, this is a very passive play. Most of that utility is going to be burned up by foot on the way through. In fact, Thrash of their own is about to be thrown through. They're going to convert them, trade them one to one. Unfortunately for Mini Boo, he was not hitting his shots, not finding Thrash. Instead, being thrashed by CNED. Now the side under threat, and CNED's holding up close inside the smoke. Halfway already, those spams better come through. The diffuser is so low, but it's not. Look at the advantages. Big Look at Mr. Fan. Fallen. Judge in play. Holding B, the fight on A for Team Heretics. They fought for it every defensive round, and they'll fight for it here on the attack. Casualties taken for Foot. It's not ideal because if they have to retake with Mr. Fallen, he is going to need to find an upgraded weapon. Maybe he can just outside of the stairs, but it's a tough one. You're out in the open with a close range weapon. Your opponents will probably take you down from far away. The A site, the safest place to plant. They don't know it yet, but they'll figure it out soon. And for the side of Foot, I'd love to see what their response is going to be. For now, it's just waiting and hoping their opponents run into them. But look at the position of Yedige. All the info's theirs now. Take this. The question is, I think he might actually be able to bypass. Yeah, he is that. That Killjoy alarm bar, I believe, is offline. So he's oh. been able to just run straight past. And I, have, I imagine Benji's going to move towards I it. And that's going to sell them some false information that maybe he hasn't actually got past any of that utility yet. Definitely not ideal, but the fact is he'll have to open the door, and that, that will give it away. That will tell Benji, I hope it does, otherwise he may, may have a few problems of his own. Yeah, he'll have to go to the, the old ear doctor after that. The door is spinning. He has heard it. He's staring in on the angle, but he won't win the fight. Two guns better than one. Yedige had his turn oh, to back him up, a mini boost. Backing up Team Heretics, just trying to run the clock now. Ring a ring a rosy right around the site. And it's Yedige sticking that defuse, but he'll be caught by a Y. They've done decently well with their takes. The stuns to the back of sight. It's not really a position that we've seen anybody play thus far. I think a couple of aggressive pushes from 
Benji left. earlier in the game, but it didn't really play too much. It's mostly been a seaside retake, and both teams have been good in the post plan. The Rolling Thunder makes it different. Yedege, the focus was elsewhere, and he gets a freebie and stunned at the back of the site. Rians needs some help. They are blinded in so many different forms. This retake looks great from foot so far, but there's still members standing, hoping to maybe try and spam through here. But the fact is that Diffuse is coming again. They have oh, not been able to stop it any time on this site. And it is, well, a very clean round in the end. Paddy Tech could be back. here. You know, some of that slowing utility maybe will help out, but it's the pit. Now, the problem is obviously a lockdown on the defensive side, but we just saw Benji Fishy grab his old orb. So now they yeah. can counter lockdown, and that could help a lot with, with keeping that pit up. If they do decide to go for it, maybe they've got a different idea. Having found so much space for free, they reshift their focus. So Paranoia D push into spawn, and Foot, they, they better get their guns world. out soon when they round this corner. I'm not sure they'll expect them to be this close. Maybe the one way will give it away, but it's been thrown there before, and there weren't players around. Not that deep. The fact is, for Miniboo, it was, okay, if I can get something and get away. Now, you're going to see that lockdown. It actually clears out the back lines. It is not really to do much more. The, the Viper's Pit is not within it, so they can still stick pretty much within this site, and the trades are going effectively, at least for the moment. Our captain's going to be able to find one, but the fact is a couple of the attackers are detained. Paditech needs to get something in the flash. It's sublime. The remaining players were out the back of the side, but the defusal hasn't been coming. The fact is, though, they could just deny it completely. They have themselves the cosmic divide, and Mr. Mullins on the other side with the judge. It's absolutely filthy. The question is the time, and they... Oh, no, they don't have it. Cover going on. Heretics all grouped up on A this time. It's going to be the same old strat. Spike Move together. Just knock him down like dominoes. Ooh, Mini Boot just making it through the door. That was cinematic. Wall up, so no angle for Mr. Fallen to compete on. He'll try to spam, but he spammed right back. Three players stood there, guns raised, ready for that fight. Benji on another fantastic shot out of this man, and that has put a spanner in the works. Cracks and out of captain, left to do it all. With the spike only being planted, it's not like they're running out of time. Oh, yeah, monster on the loose. That could be a big problem. That, oh, it's gone the wrong way. But it's okay. For information, maybe expecting them to be a little bit closer. Again, all segmenting themselves in towards tree. This is something that clearly is planned by heretics each time. Happy to just sit in this back corner. The peak together is a pace change from the 4 0 start. Foot looking good. One shaky rat. <laughs> That was hey, a shaky you, you're going to try something risky in a round like this. For but. sure. you got a pistol. Why not? And it's worked for him sometimes. Oh, yeah. But surely play earlier. He's baited things out here. Two players are heading in the right direction. Yeah, hearing that turret sitting outside C, you sort of start to get the idea. Maybe Yenage was calling it over to Mr. Fallen and out of captain. The stun goes in. Nice stun. It's uh, caught them. Two quick kills. Another uh, followed up on Mr. Fallen. Goes down to the snake bite. Left. But he might have done enough with Benji Fishy alone having to plant this spike. There's nowhere <laughs> safe in his mind to do it. These players could be anywhere. He knows where one is. But the other evaded him up until now. Yedige about to round the corner, and he's going to catch him unaware. Oh, no! It's a complete whiff. Benji Fishy, 49 HP and a dream. It's oh, they have gone all the way through this seaside. But in the meantime, under pressure, it's the man I just mentioned, and he's gone within a second. Uh, he's done his damage, though. Uh, a player worth of damage, I suppose. But the problem is, whenever Team Heretics are able to wrestle that control out, run their trades, or just clean take the fights, and gain control of sight, they're not letting it slip. But, boo, familiar position. Open the door, he calls, the utility's on its way, he needs to get out of there, and he has I love it. That's very nice teamwork, even the flash just to buy him a little bit of extra time. It will be returned on the so other side, mini -boo. not much to do. Mini Boo's in such a ratty little position, but they're all gonna go rapping past the, the Viper screen is almost a bit of bait just to give him some space. The question is, do they check for him? No, they don't. He's gonna clear out a couple on their way back in. It leaves just out of Captain and Wild. Good luck. Up against the lockdown. It's totally the same. They've made good use of their off-season time. And now just one round away from claiming victory. Nice position from CNED, but the shots aren't there. We talked about the weaponry. It's just not strong enough for a lot of these fights. And they are overwhelmed, leaving Yedige and Mr. Fallen to pick up the pieces. Yeah, this is going to have to be a miracle. Yedige is only just starting his rotation, but that, that again, as said, like, I don't think heretics have been a roster that have been just too quick to move. They're happy to just pause, hit the brakes. Boo's calling this game has been sublime, and 
Well, now you can see the downs. Yedoshi's gone all the way back to the A site. He's still sitting on tree, just waiting for that rotation to come through. Mr. Farland's going to try and buy as much time as humanly possible. Well, he's pulled in. Wingman at least, but other than that, all of his utility's gone. He's just going to have to hit the shot, and he does. That first kill has gone its way. He's even dinked up a second. Somehow the IGL might just be the hero that they need. Oh! Now there's a real chance. I mean, he's backed out. He's bought time. The rotate from Yedishay. It's going to be so long before he gets here. Maybe they walk back into him. As players on Heretics, there's no easy choice for Boo and Patatek. Where do you take it on this one? Both smokers left alive. Two snake bites to play with. You probably want to be around mound. It's a good position, but the, it's out of position to stop that defuse. That's so unfortunate for Yedige with 86 HP. Mr. Fallen, two kills already. There's the third. He's only got one more, but Patatek's full. 150, a tough series so far, but he'll save them. Heretics.